Really? Let's go to Mike. He's a Man City fan. All right, Mike? Hey, are you all right? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Listen, yeah, listen to the show all the time, boys. Quality as always. Top man, Mike. Cheers, Thank you. Pal. First memory. Yeah, um, go right, so 98, everyone goes on about the Owen goal. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I was 10 years old in 98. And uh, it first game, actually, I was in primary school with all my mates. Yeah. You, you know, you get the big the big TV wheeled in with a massive back on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you remember them back in the day? I used to love that. So wheel well, it in. Come on, come on, sir. Come on, get it on. <laughs> well, it was mass in the afternoon. So we got out of that. Um, and we extended school because I think it was an half two kickoff. I remember right, but we extended the school day till about half four, so we could watch the full game in the class. Yeah. Um, I think Shearer scored scored in the first half, but who was it against Tunisia? Who was it? Who were talking about it? What game? Tunisia England versus Tunisia in ninety eight, yeah. the first group game. <sighs> Can't remember it, mate. Can you not? Well, Shearer scored anyway. So we went one 0 up in the first half, Shearer. But in the second half, they were on top of us. I think I want to say Trebelsi or someone like just wide of the post for for Tunisia. But then we went up in the 90th minute. The ball sort of like bounced up, and Paul Scholes cut inside outside the box and whipped one in curler in far far right and far corner. right. Yeah, I remember it. Didn't go in the stanch. Honestly. It was middle of the net, wasn't it? But in the corner. Think, yeah, yeah. Middle middle of the goal, but absolute beautiful. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm a Man City fan talking about a United United player here, but mm. what a goal. Um as we said the, the Owen goal's unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. But that Skulls one in the first game just well, Skulls playing off the, the left. Win. Do you remember when we used to play him off the left? The England's greatest midfield used to play left midfield. It was ridiculous. It, just to make I it think work. It was number, do you know what? It was number 10 that game. I think we had Lasso as a wing back and Anderton as a wing back, if I remember right. Anderton. Darren Anderton. Oh, yeah. He's going back some years there, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. I used but to yeah, look. Uh, Mike, I, I know you're a Man City fan. Skulls, back in the day, I mean, you must have played against him a few times as well. Honestly, mm. when I played against Paul Skulls, I used to stand there and just in awe of him, thinking, oh my God, <laughs> this guy's so good at football. He had everything. It was ridiculous how good he was. I remember we had a game, right? Wolves at home, Man United. They beat us 5-0, and Paul Scholes had 110 passes, 110 completed. Didn't give the ball away once in the game, 90 minutes. Probably had more passes than your whole team <laughs> put together. He was absolutely outrageously good. <laughs> and it wasn't like just easy passes. He was hitting 70 yarders, like diags on toast. Yeah, it was good. How good was he? He was very good. I think he was better than Gerard. Different kind of player. You played with Gerard, right? Yeah, Gerard could do that as well, though. He could zing it. Yeah, he could like zing a it. KFC zinger, tower burger. <laughs> Spicy one as well. He used to hit the old daisy cutter, didn't he, Gerard? <laughs> yeah. You know, like the one that used to just be a yard off the yeah. floor. And you'd just keep going. And you'd just hit your, t you'd hit your foot and it'd be like a rocket hitting your foot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy's got the most powerful groin uh, ever. No wonder he ended up having an operation on it. Uh, right, keep The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.